If I remember correctly, yes, I have been here for all time. If I remember correctly, there is no birth, there is no dying. If I remember correctly, that thing they called Big Bang was mine. If I remember correctly, I think I overspoke my time. So I bow out. Digital Underground, you know what that means? A lot of niggas don't know what Explain that means. Explain it. I'm going to tell it to the world. Digital Underground means the underground is the way we choose to kick our style. We kick the style like all the underground hip-hop. But the digital stands for the fact that we're using digital equipment and that we're taking R&B, black American music, to the next phase. You see? But the fact that it's on the underground is the fact that you'll never really know who the fuck we are. Everybody wants to know who's in the underground. Right, right. It's Humpty and Shock the same nigga. And it shocked this nigga and humped it. What we trying to show is that it don't matter who's who or that we get famous. It's all about right. the music and the message we convey. Right now you make okay? It right. Don't never forget that. Because we not trying to come up. If you see me on the street, don't thank me or don't step to me for nothing. Because I didn't do nothing. Digital Underground did all of that. Okay? Tell from my everyday fits, I ain't rich, so cease and desist with them tricks. I'm just another black man caught up in the mix, trying to make a dollar out of 15 cents. Just cause I'm a freak don't mean that we can hit the sheets, baby I can see. You don't recognize me, I'm shot you, the one who put the satin in your panty. Never knew a hooker that could share me. The recording aspect of it, I would say be good at what you do and follow the uh, trends in sound, like Sonic. The wave isn't just hip hop, it's all the music you hear on television, the radio, in the park. It's everything everybody's doing. There's a uh, old saying that Stevie Wonder once said, the best writers don't write the music, they hear the music. Mm. You gotta hear what it is and capture it, you know? That's what I would say to engineers and, and producers, and to the artists themselves, you have to people's not being said and say that you got to get mad and be like nobody makes songs like this i'm gonna make that song that's how we felt we, we i told humpty i was like man there ain't no cool nerd rappers out there like you and you know what he said who the hell you call a nerd at that time run dmc in their black coats and ll with his chains and hats everybody was so cool so cool so he wrote the humpty dance and he won with that you know Pac felt like nobody was talking about the system and the have-nots. Nobody was representing the thugs in society. So he That's represented it and that became thug life. Dying breed. Stuck in my mind, couldn't find a place to rest. Until he got that thug life tatted on his chest. Tell me, can you feel it? He wasn't living in the past. You wanna last? Be the first to blast. Remember Tupac, no longer with us, he's deceased. Call on the siren, seen him murdered in the streets. Now rest in peace. Is there heaven for a G? Remember P. So many homies in the cemetery shed so many tears. Suffered through the years and shed so many tears. God, I suffered through the years. I lost so many peers. Oh, wait, I'm LL. You know what I mean, B? Farmers. Get it right, get it right, get it right. My name is Humpty, pronounced with an umpty. Yo, ladies, oh, how I like to funk thee. And all the rappers in the top ten, I have already bumped thee. My name is Shock G. And I'm too motherfucking Pac. Yeah, okay. Now, see, D Flow continues. D Flow ain't stopped with no motherfucking Sons of the P, okay? Hell no. We're gonna keep rolling. Just like we got Tupacalypse, we got all kinds of things going on. Pac, why don't you tell these brothers what's happening? Stay see, and let me tell you. First of all, Raw Fusion is no illusion. Gold money ain't nothing funny. They still humping now we out of Oakland. My man Humpty Hump and the whole Digital Underground Posse finna come out with yet another album. Even more slamming than the last. We just finna go straight underground. We finna live up to the name. Digital Underground. Tupacalypse come out with a new album, Troublesome. We finna just hit y'all like a family. We all just, you know, trying to make it. Thank you. Cause it's all about the music, it ain't about all that other stuff, you know what I'm saying? That other shit. All that other shit, 
It ain't about about that. he and she and he and that and Fuck radio that. and splatio and dadio. It ain't all that. about that. It's about keeping the groove in the music yep. so that it relates to our people. Yep. And you know, can't no, nobody do that better than my man Pac. See, and my nigga shock motherfucking G. Thank you, God. Hear me? Jock G welcomes all of you to our planet. Oh, wow. We got you. We got you. I'm your shepherd. I'm Man. your chaperone. Wow. That's all. I live for you. Take it. We got a, we got a lot of blue pearl for you. Nigga, we out here with Shock Jeezy. This little hairy old nigga. Damn. Wait, we got three wow. more years left, nigga. <laughs> you know Mike coming out, you know he gonna touch Johnny you too, again, Negro. Right, young. <laughs> Not just the niggas, the Negroes too. Church! Church! The Archbishop in the building! Come through, where's Snoop? You ain't bring Snoop! Babe, when you feel me, ooh, how you squeeze me, you want my hand palms on, oh, yeah, babe, babe. If you marry me, we'd have a ball. Oh, my God. But then when she squeezed me, ooh, how she pleased me, you want my hand palms on, oh, yeah, baby. Would you go with me once and for all? Oh, my God. I'm intrigued. Yeah, I was, I was imitating the frog. <laughs> That's crazy. I am. I was so like, oh my god, I'm blown away right now. Pac almost got us killed in Richmond, Virginia. I know them brothers remember that time they backed us out of this club, this after hours place in Richmond, Virginia, four in the morning. This one cat claimed Pac stepped on a shoe and they got into a little spat and then it was like, Shh, I'm, I'm gonna see who got the juice and said something disrespectful to Pac and Pac started cursing him out. This whole club turned against us, all black, all ghetto, after hours lounge. Ten minutes later we're taking pictures and everybody's walking us around, we're all spread out, there's four of us there, me, Pac, Money B, and Sophia. And uh, Pac challenged this cat and it got ugly and then Pac was like, yo man, shot, we out, yo we got beef. Uh, we didn't even know what was going on until we walked over there. Uh, so we all got next to Pac and they were backing us out of the club. Then they backed us out against the brick wall. And at the point that I was grabbing, holding Pac, trying to get him to shut up, still putting him in the cab, he was still challenging. It was like 40 or 50 cats that we were going to have to fight at one point because they were starting to build up out of the clock behind, you know. Fuck them California niggas. Yo, T-Roy, I got you, cat. Yeah, yeah, that's you, Mike. Yeah, that's me. Shh, shh. What? We'll send him back to Cali right, and then more and more were ganging up. And Pac was like, what? How y'all gonna do that to me? I'm not scared of none of y'all. I'm not scared of none of y'all. Ah. Sophia was the muscle cat, though. <laughs> and he said, look, why do we gotta fight all of y'all? Just me and you box right now. And he challenged the main cat who was challenging Pac while I smushed Pac into the cab because the, the more Pac talked, the madder they got. It was a no-win situation. And I was like, Pac, I'm a soldier too. It's 40 of them. And we're from California and it's four of us. And we're not strapped. We couldn't bring no guns to the club or nothing. That was the beginning of a big feud between Sophia and Tupac. I get around, was the time I pulled Pac out of the party. And I said, yo, they got two more hits on you. They already had two in Oakland, now they got two in LA. Four people are paid to kill you. Take it easy. Take my key, live in my condo while I'm on tour. Watch the Jeffersons. Relax. You know what Pac told me? He said, you finish? You don't get it, do you? I don't give a fuck. And walked away. And before he got out of sight, he looked back one last time and went, So Pac was ready, he was ready. He knew he was done here. On to his next planet. <laughs> on to his next adventure. Maybe he was reincarnated on Earth. Who knows, but Pac wasn't worried about death. He was not scared of death. Neither am I.
I might go tonight. I might go tomorrow. I might live another 20 years. God don't bless me. But who knows? But Pac wasn't afraid of death, man. None of us should be. Stand for something. Die for nothing. Stand for something better than dying for nothing. Amen.